And finally tonight, the third edition of the IBAC Masters Cup Tournament, the 2013, has concluded following three days of tough yet gracious competition between some of the best badminton players in Kuwait. The event, which was organized by IBAC or the Indian Badminton Association of Kuwait, was held at the Saad Al Auzi School in Salwa and closed with an awards ceremony where all the winners were honored. Sarah Glob has more details from the IBAC gym at the Saad Al Auzi School in Salwa. Some of the best badminton players within Kuwait's expatriate community were seen in action as the Indian Badminton Association in Kuwait, or IBAC, concluded the third Masters Cup tournament 2013. As you can see, you know, it was uh, about uh, two, two categories of um, uh, tournament plays, advanced and professional. We had more than 200 uh, players taking part and uh, it was very well contested. Of course, the tournament is being sponsored by uh, Zain our exclusive sponsor and just a very hard fought contest and uh, now we are into the final stages the finals are going on so a very good uh, tournament and very good uh, reception so we hope to repeat this uh, in a bigger uh, magnitude next year as well the, in the advanced category uh, one Indonesian team and one Indian team came into the final and in the professional team uh, uh, one I mean uh, two Indian teams came into the final and uh, we are going to have the finals uh, now. I think it's an exciting match. And a tremendous participation from all nationalities. Uh, next time we are planning to bring 10 nationalities. This time we got 6 nationalities. Teams consisting of 6 different nationalities, including Filipino, Pakistani, Indonesian and of course Indian, battled for 3 days in the doubles championship in 2 categories professional and advanced to reach the finals and win the prestigious tourney. Yeah, this is a very good competition because it's all good players from different countries from uh, India and uh, different uh, Egypt also, Indonesia, Philippines. Like yeah. good players. It's a good players but we we'll enjoy the games too much. Yeah. He's my partner is uh, Bastian. Yeah, he's from India also. Yeah. This tournament has been a very good tournament so we have luckily and we've worked hard for it. We've come to the finals. So we practice a lot over here. I've come as I give all my credit to this stadium. So now we hope we'll try our best and we'll try to get the cup. First we should thanks to I back. First we should thanks to I back Dr. Tom, uh, Dr. Mani Maharaj Solan. Yeah, the competition was very hard. Uh, among uh, 48 total players, uh, it comes uh, eight groups first and. Uh, to uh, the winners and uh, uh, losers from uh, each category, uh, eight, 16 is coming to the next pool and uh, then enter into semi-final and after final. Really. It was really tough. Uh, Anuj and uh, Ajun just uh, outplayed us and the hats off to them. And uh, the first set, it was they, they, they totally outplayed us. They give us a love, they take our uh, smash, we give them uh, some uh, draft shots, they take it also. So, no excuses, they played well. They In the end, India took the title home, leaving the runners-up from the Philippines humbly defeated. Nonetheless, it was all in good spirit, and the event was extremely popular and sometimes heated among the spectators. Growing in size and diversity, the IBAC Masters Cup has now concluded its third edition, which saw fierce and heated competition from the badminton enthusiasts, especially during the final stages. From the IBAC gym in Selva area, this is Sarah Glob reporting for English News.